Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can create this sick melting distortion effect. What's up guys, my name is Devin Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. We're gonna be going over this effect today. It's just a really great way to spice up your music videos and add some flavor, especially if you have some plain footage. This is a really simple effect to recreate. All you'll be needing is After Effects, no plugins at all required. But before we get started, if you guys are new to this channel, please be sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you find this content useful. It's free, all this content is free, so it'd really mean a lot if you guys could. Also, if you have any questions or concerns throughout the entirety of the tutorial, please be sure to leave a comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Say it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into the video. Alright guys, so now that we are finally inside of After Effects, first obviously have your clip loaded in. And one of the first things we're going to do is we're just going to come over here to our effects and presets and we are going to search for map displacement. And you'll see it's right under here under distort and we're just gonna go ahead and drag that right on and this is pretty much the effect itself and that's why it's pretty much front and foremost and you'll see that we have these two values right here max vertical and max horizontal if we drag them obviously it's creating this nice trippy looking melt effect already off the bat that's pretty much a lot of our effect but from now on we're just gonna go on and spice this up and just you know keyframe it animate it make it look nice and dress it um so before you actually set any of these values make sure that you click on warp pixels around basically what this does is it makes sure that there are no black spots or empty spots in your footage so for say if it's off you'll see that all of these footage that is melted is just gone and it's just left with a black background but if we hit warp pixels around there are still pixels in between so pretty much all the scenes of the frame are just still filled up but it's just repeats of the other footage now there's a lot of ways that we can animate this effect we can either have the melting like melt in for an intro effect or we can have the melting during the scene where it just melts in and out or you can just have it melt out as a melting out transition what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do a melting in transition and then you can just go ahead and mess around with the keyframes whatever after and you know create the looks that you want to create so I'm gonna first come up all the way over here like about you know a third of my clip way through and I'm going to keyframe the max vertical displacement and I'm gonna keyframe the max horizontal displacement now make sure it's set at zero it should be set at zero and, and when you set those keyframes and then we're gonna drag all the way back here to the beginning and this is where the real effects come in I'm going to increase this all to like a really high value, like 700. And then when you play back your clip, you'll see everything melts into place. Now this looks cool already, but it looks pretty static and linear. So let's go ahead and dress these keyframes. First hit the drop down key on the clip and then hit the drop down on effects and drop down on displacement now. We're now going to select the graph editor tool. Now you'll see there's a graph here for the displacement map. Don't get worried. We're just going to go ahead and mess with these anchor playheads. And basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag it out and we're going to be using these yellow anchor head keyframes. And we're just going to drag and adjust maybe like that. That looks like a nice little bend. And when you play it back, you'll already see it looks a lot smoother. I literally just realized this like a couple of hours ago, but this is actually the second derivative or first derivative of these graphs right here. If you take calculus, you'll understand but uh, I just kind of blew my mind that this is this is an after effects it's just a funny thought once you have a nice smooth displacement gap transition what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the graph editor once again to close out of it and then we're gonna go ahead and come back to our effects and presets and search for glow now this glow effect is a fun one I always love this effect because it really just like adds a whole nother level to your effect you're gonna drag it on you'll see it just makes everything look really saturated and harsh what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the glow settings and we're going to increase this radius all the way up to about 100 and you'll see it makes everything just look a lot more dreamy and just a lot nicer in general this already in itself can be an effect but just because we're here at 11 percent we love to go the extra mile and just make things look insane we're going to add one more effect which is going to be optics compensation we're going to grab optics compensation and we're going to drag this to our clip right here you'll see it'll now apply below the glow layer effect which is exactly what we want and then what we're going to do is we're going to click reverse lens distortion come all the way over to the keyframe where the displacement map ends and then we are going to click a keyframe on the optics compensation field of view and set that at zero so we have two keyframes at zero this is the keyframe right here for the displacement map and then this is the zero keyframe for the optics compensation we're gonna come all the way back to the beginning and then for the optics compensation field of view we are going to increase this value all the way up to like 135 and once we play this back you'll see it creates this really trippy like warp through melting effect combination and it's just a really good transition overall that you can include in your music videos i love it very very simple effect very very easy to recreate and there's so many different settings that you can mess around with to make your looks unique you can even go as far as to keyframing some of the glow so for say i actually want this glow right here to 
stay at how it is. So I'm gonna set the radius and threshold and intensity, give them all keyframes um, at this point. And I'm gonna come here to the very beginning and I'm just gonna go ahead and bump up this intensity and as well as the radius. And you'll see that just makes everything look a lot brighter. And when we play it out, it just looks magnificent, like a space laser light show. It's just really crazy stuff that you can do. All After Effects, no plugins at all, just insane the stuff that you can recreate. And with that, that is pretty much the effect. If you want to actually add a rotoscope version over your clip, you can just simply do so by hitting Command D on your clip layer. On the top clip that you just recreated, delete all the visual effects and then double click your layer click your roto brush icon and then just rotoscope out your subject. If you don't know how to rotoscope, you can go ahead and check out this rotoscoping tutorial that's under five minutes. It's right here. Definitely go check it out if you're a beginner in After Effects. It really helps you get the hang of things. Once you have now rotoscoped out your subject, you can go ahead and return back to your main composition and you'll see that in your scene, your main subject is still in scene. All the effects are going on behind them and then you just have this crazy looking visual going on right here. Real quick, lastly, if you want to know how to add a melt transition in between your scenes, but not as a transition, you can just go ahead and adjust these keyframes. Right here are the displacement map keyframes, which I will just move over right here. And then I will go ahead and duplicate this last keyframe so that we have this nice melting effect going on in between. And that's just a way you can add some melting in between your scene. But go ahead, mess around with these keyframes. Really, I encourage you to just have fun with it. Create this effect to your own. Don't copy this tutorial exactly. But there you have it with those three effects a nice sick melting distortion effect here is the final result if you guys made it to the end of the video thank you again so much for watching if you haven't already please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe with notification bell on for updates like tutorials like this really it means the world to me and the youtube algorithm if you have any questions or suggestions please be sure to comment down below and also remember to follow us on instagram at 11 percent prod add us if you created anything cool we'd love to see what you guys made once again thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video peace